I left home when I was 18, and I, I came from a so-called religious background. And for years, I uh, turned my back on God. I got into uh, drinking alcohol, what have you. When I had uh, issues that I couldn't deal with, I turned to alcohol. Later on in life, I, I became a single parent with three kids for five years, and uh, I blamed it all on, on God and what have you. And I got caught up with some, uh, with some guys and started associating with them to drink. And they fought all the time, and, and I ended up uh, being involved in the, the death of, of one of them. I never saw that coming, but I did 17 years at the penitentiary over it. I hit the guy, and, and the other guy killed him. My experience in prison, which was hard the first seven years, I don't proclaim to be religious, but I, I proclaim to be a man of faith in Jesus Christ. And, and since that, uh, things in my life changed, my outlook changed. The doors started opening up for me through the final 10 years. My uh, experience in, in love for painting just blossomed. And once I got in prison, I used it as recreation and I would send cards home I would make miniature cars because when you ride home, there's not a lot to say. I mean, so I would do these little miniature paintings and make cars out of them and send them, send them out to my family. I remember when I got out, I took my shoes off and stood in the grass and a smile come across me. I couldn't get rid of it for 10 or 15 minutes. Just the smallest things. Our life is just so beautiful now. My family has received me. My children received me. They were six, seven, and eight when I got in trouble. When I got out, they were 24, 25, and 26. And my little girl tells me she loves me. She sounds like that little baby. It's the same. It's just God's put it all back together for me. In 2007, when things turned around, I involved myself into a program at the chapel there at Luther Luckett. The uh, chaplain had an artist from uh, Louisville, Kentucky come in there, Carol Jackson Powell, and she got a bunch of guys together to do some murals on the building. You know, she, she said I was like a duck on water with it, you know what I mean? The wardens came through and toured Luckett, and they saw these murals, and they, they got a hold of Carol Jackson Powell. And uh, she told them, she said, uh, you don't need me to do it, you've got Steve Lane over there. You know, the opportunity started opening up for me. And I, I don't know, it's just, things just started happening. And, and next thing you know, I blossomed into, to, to artist, which, which it took me forever to really understand that. But I, I did wonder what I would do when I got out because I struggled so much before I went in. It's the way you live your life. If, if, you, uh, if you're negative, you're not going to go anywhere. You, it's your attitude. You've got to be positive. You've got to have a positive attitude and know that the, you may have to start low. But if you keep doing the next right thing and have a positive attitude and fight negativity, you can go places that you can never dreamed of. My whole life has been restored, but it's also been created into something new. And these old buildings, that's the same thing with them in these communities, what have you. I've been restored, my whole life has been restored. You know, and, and I do have a purpose. These old buildings still have a purpose. You know, he took a, a man that was hopeless and didn't care about life itself through, uh, through my feelings that it wasn't my way. And I become a person that was grateful for the smallest things.
I would probably, I would paint myself looking to the sky with tears in my eyes. And I am so grateful. I don't know what else to say. I don't have a plan. I just stay positive and believe that that I'll be provided for and, and I just enjoy life and, and just let life I open gifts every day. That's the way I look at it. You know, I, I really appreciate life now. I mean, I've been humbled.